Fnatic. Thanks, guys. I'm joined by Yellowstar after his victory. An unbelievable win over the Unicorns. That was the final piece of the puzzle. 18 and 0. How are you feeling right now? Uh, it's actually a great feeling. I didn't expect to have this season so far, but you know, we've struggled. So to me, it's like we are taking it as a good experience and we're learning from our mistakes. But it's just a great feeling, you know, like we do go for a perfect, but couldn't expect better than that. Yeah, you guys are looking incredible. Now, when I spoke to the rest of your team over the split, they all attributed your success to you being the shot caller, to you, who and what has been the biggest attributes that have been your success? Um, I think we're pretty much on, all on the same page. Everyone is so motivated, and we, it's pretty clear that we all have the same goal. Um, we just want to aim higher and higher, and hopefully we won't disappoint, but so we'll try to give everything we have and try to perform. Yeah, aiming higher and higher. Now, this is the strongest Fnatic we have ever seen. How far do you think this Fnatic team can go? You can even go look all the way over to Worlds. Um, right now, we're just focusing on playoffs. Uh, why not? Maybe we can make it a perfect run. So we'll try to innovate, maybe, or pull out some new picks, or, you know, We'll have a lot of time to practice until the playoffs, since we will only play in the semifinals, which will be in three weeks, I believe. So we'll have a lot of time to uh, analyze our opponents and prepare some strategies. Well, thank you very much for the interview, and congratulations once again on your flawless split. We're going to shoot it over to the analyst desk to take a look at the incredible win. Thank you, Pulse. Always fantastic to hear from Yellowstar. Uh, when asked how much he's looking forward, he says, yeah, well, playoffs, so you can make that undefeated run as a European. International potential intensifies. I don't know. We can't get too excited. Yeah, never get too excited about that. Just, but what struck me the most is as Yellow Star is doing that interview in the background, you see Huni's yep. like sitting down like this. He's like, no, 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 no. I should have never died this many times. And then obviously Daylord cheering up, and that's that's the winner mentality that Fnatic has, and that's why they're so good. They don't talk about celebrating. They talk. They don't talk about anything. All Yellow Star says is, okay, three more weeks. We have time to analyze our play. Our enemies will be ready in semifinals, and that is the winner mentality. And I just can't wait to see Fnatic perform at playoffs and hopefully at Worlds too. Is this a mentality that hasn't changed for Yellow Star since when you've been playing with them as well? Yeah, he's always like had this like go hard mentality. And yeah, 8 and 0 is pretty impressive though. Needless to say, if I was still in the team, we would have done better. <laughs> Maybe would have won, Fnatic would have won even faster. 23 minutes, 48. That is Fnatic's fastest win of the split. Their next fastest was 29 minutes. To be honest, I wish it, there would have been a little bit more fireworks, maybe even with the 18 and 0 from the side of the Unicorns of Love, given they did uh, pull out the poppy, they try to make something happen, but in the end, there's nothing to do versus the I mean, they got a couple of early kills, beautiful execution on a double dank on who Double gank, not <laughs> dank. That's no memes there. Uh, but double gank on Huni, and then you, you think, okay, it's going to happen. But then one teleport to play turns it all around. And so many times this happened in split. And remember Copenhagen Wolves game. Fnatic went even Stevens into, until the moment Huni teleports in the mid lane. Four assists all of a sudden. Everything that was just going slow and steady just got annihilated. And they somehow get ahead every time. So it's is this so impressive how Fnatic can bounce back if they're not already ahead at 10 minutes? Yeah, and it was really good, like how they managed to kill Huni those times. But also, like they dived uh, the Poppy once, and he lost like three waves. And another time, uh, Rain over, he just went top, and uh, Poppy couldn't even save the third, so he lost like yeah. another three waves. So just like Rain over, like the pressure was more intense in a way that he made always made the uh, Vichichachi lose like a crap load of minions. So he was not really that ahead. Yeah, Vichachi did lose a lot of minions there, and in the end, Fnatic. Pretty clean victory in yep. the end versus Unicorns of Love, 18 and 0. And that's not it for today. We are in for some bonus League of Legends with a tie to settle for the fifth playoff seed. When we return, we'll get down to business as Giants Gaming face Rocket. More European LCS coming your way right after this. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's go Bring for it, boys. Let's do it. Okay, let's, let's go. go. It. It's the last let's go. Game. Okay. Bring our puppy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Full potato, guys. Do it, boys. Let's go. It's time. The pillar cuts him off prematurely. Yellowstar may go down as Chachi had teleported in as well. Looking for Huni now, but Huni will pick off Ardax. Reckless valks his way to a kill. And now a double for Huni, a double for Reckless. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Sivir, Sivir. I got that, I got him. Nice. As Reckless takes down the turret, Fnatic look to end this game quicker than we've seen this entire split. Fnatic will become the first team in LCS history to do it. The perfect split, 18 and 0.